What's the difference between a soldier that's being all they can be and today's Army Strong Soldier? Is it A, camel face paint? B, lipstick? Or C, the Army Combat Uniform or ACU as we commonly know it? This next story has the answer. The 80s gave Americans the Rubik's Cube. The video cassette recorder or VCR, and for army soldiers that were being all they could be in the 80s, they were issued the battle dress uniform or BDU. 20 years and a uniform change later, the soldiers at Fort Snelling, Minnesota paid homage to this camouflage uniform by donning it for one last time. Last day, and, and everybody's like, wow, you're wearing your BDUs today. You know, it's only a handful of people in the, here that's wearing it, a couple of people next door, so. It feels good. It feels good wearing it. They're very comfortable. You know, it feels sentimental. It's very sentimental. <laughs> the Army set April 30th as the wear out date for the BDU. Replacing the BDU is the Army Combat Uniform, or ACU. A few reasons for the uniform makeover was the ACU better augments the interceptor body armor and helps soldiers save money on uniform maintenance. In addition to wearing the BDU on its last day, Sergeant Major Renee Hickerson even wore a pair of black boots that were issued to her in basic training 24 years ago. I think that there was some kind of a pride in polishing your boots and making sure your uniform was pressed and looked nice and the impression that it gave I liked better. It kind of forced soldiers to learn how to sew. Sew and and just to you know, have the discipline of keeping their boots polished and taking pride in what they look like. Yes. As veteran soldiers look back on the BDU, one can still smell the aroma of black boot polish and spray starch on the BDU uniform. But it is now gone, and it's become a museum relic representing the be all you can be era of the Army. Reporting in ACU's For the Side Picture, I'm Sergeant First Class Chris Farley.